Welcome back to Tea with Turo on Tuesdays. Tea with Turo on Tuesdays, that's right. How are you doing today, Monsignor? Just fine. Are you having your regular cup of tea? I am. Which is? Tea. <laughs> what do you put in your tea? Well, by rare exception, I, uh, I like to have milk in it and uh, uh, like two teaspoons of uh, sugar. Sugar-free sugar, sweetener, yeah. yeah. What have you been doing this past week, Monsignor? Oh, I think most more than anything else, I guess, I've been keeping up with the news. Anything interesting? Uh, no, 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 especially. <laughs> Anything, um, any good news? Very little, I think. <laughs> what about the gospel? I'm all for the gospel, you but know. But gospel, the euangelion, the good news. Mm -hmm. Any any good news from Jesus to you in your prayer time? Well, uh, that you want to share with me? Well, there's very little I'd like to share with you, and certainly not of my wealth. It's true. Monsignor is basically a millionaire. <laughs> He's been a priest for how many years now, Monsignor? Pretty uh, soon. May 5th, your anniversary as a priest is coming up. What day were you uh, ordained? Um, I have. I have not forgotten because you and I have the exact same uh, ordination day of the year. Not the same year, clearly, but the same ordination day, which is May 27th. Oh. Three cubed is how I remember mine. I'm a math dork. Yeah. So you and I are ordination buds. Does that oh. make you, does that give you great as joy? As I can see that is the absolutely only connection. Uh, between us. We're the only thing we have in common. So we have the same ordination day. Yeah. We're both priests. Yeah. We're both human. Yeah. Any comment on that? Yeah, no. We're no. both male. Yeah. We both like wearing black. Yeah, all these are very meaningful similarities, of course. We both love Mary. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, yeah. We both love St. Patrick. Yeah, I like him too. And people named Patrick. Well, I draw the line there. Do you enjoy the 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 Jameses of the two apostles, James? Oh yeah. Do you feel like you're named after James the Greater or James the Lesser? Well, out of a spurt of humility, I always say James the Lesser. But if the camera's off, what would you answer? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you. You, you've named yourself neither James the Lesser nor the Greater, but James the Greatest. <laughs> I have also nicknamed Monsignor Turo Jimmy T, and he's he's okay with that nickname, I think. Calling you Monsignor Jimmy T, do you think that's disrespectful to you in any sort of way, or are you okay with it? Not really. <laughs> You're not okay with it, I, or I don't it's not disrespectful? I don't feel insulted by it. Okay, good. What if I mean it to be insulting, then? Oh, well, then that's your worry. You have to get to confession on Saturday. I don't know what you're doing now when we're not here at confessions on Saturday. Uh, probably sinning. Huh? <laughs> All right. Someone threw in some questions. Do you have favorite music, Monsignor? Yeah, that's right. That's a flip phone. Huh? I like music very much. What kind of music? Uh, much classical music. Do you have a favorite Composer, artist, performer, rapper, uh, electric guitarist, drummer, singer. Uh, I like Bach and I like Mendelssohn. Oh, Mendelssohn. You've never mentioned him before. Uh, I do like both of them as well. I think if I had to choose between the two, I would pick Bach, but there are definitely wonderful uh, compositions by Mendelssohn. <laughs> Mendelssohn. Like, what country is he from? Um, well, Mendelssohn is um, uh, German, and it means the son of Mendel, 
and it's Jewish. Uh, it was a custom, well, not only among Jews, but how many times you encounter that in English, you know, Johnson and uh, I see. Michelson so and so on. Um, so that's what Mendelssohn is, the son of Mendel. What does Turo mean? Tower. I like to think Tower of Strength. <laughs> for, <laughs> for which side, the good side or the bad side? Like, in which tower are you in? Which fortress are you defending? Oh, the good always. The good always? Okay, yeah. that's good to hear. Am I on your side? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Does or that mean if you are, <laughs> I'll change places. <laughs> am I? <laughs> uh, am I on the the evil side then? What's that? Am I on the evil side? I would say so. Yes. Or am I just in another tower no, no. of also the good side? <laughs> just you know, in another like you're the the dwarves and I'm the elves or something like that. <laughs> or maybe I'm like the hobbits. Well, I don't know. I want to read those books again, The Lord of the Rings. Um, the, the movies have skewed my perception of my memory of the books. Have you ever read The Lord of the Rings? I may have a long time ago. It sounds familiar, but I have no recollection. J.R.R. Tolkien. Tolkien. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, but Catholic author. And he wrote this series of books that were made into movies, and they were they made... <laughs> sell a ton of money but they're very beautifully done uh, i think a lot of people rave about them tell us your thoughts do you have a favorite movie monsignor not really i haven't been to the movies in a long long time they're kind of out of fashion now to go to the movie anyhow and that's a that's true that's right. i don't know if out of fashion is the word just forbidden maybe <laughs> but we could bring movies here for you to watch well that's fine you can start right this today if you'd like. What would you like to watch? I'll have to think about that one. Any genre of movie you would like to watch? No, I enjoy movies. If you want, much. I can record myself singing and dancing no, something. No, we could dispense with that, I mean, sure, right off. Mm. Well, maybe we'll have a, we'll watch the movie, and then we'll have a discussion about the movie afterward. Yeah. And see if there's any Catholic themes under... The Fast and the Furious, or, hmm. or we could watch the Lord of the Rings. Yeah. They're about three hours each. Hmm. Are you ready for that? I don't think I'm ready for that. We'll see. <laughs> All right. The next question is: Did you ever get into trouble as a kid? Oh, I, the answer, of course, to that is yes, but I can't mention, I, I can't recall specific instances. Can you think of what things you probably got into trouble, like what scenarios? Was it about, you really like chocolate, so I imagine you were uh, always putting your hand into the chocolate jar or the cookie yeah, jar? It might have been that, it might have been crossing the street that uh, I ought not to have done it. Child. Mm. I could see that. Mm -hmm. What did we call you back in the day? When Monsignor Turo was driving, we called him the Phantom. Because one minute he'd be there, and then another minute we'd find out he's in Seton Hall somehow, which is about 40 minutes away. And somehow he'd get there like that. And yeah. then all of a sudden he'd reappear here uh, at OLM. So we called you the Phantom, because you were always, you yeah. were a mystery to us. That's right, yes, maybe. Did you have any nicknames growing up? Well, how about Jim? It's not really a nick. Uh, okay, fine. It's it's a shortened version of James. I'm thinking, like, did people call you the... No, I dealt only with civil people. <laughs> and, yeah, fine. So I've nicknamed you Jimmy T. Is that civil? What's that? I've nicknamed you Jimmy T. Is that civil? Oh, yeah, that's uh, quite acceptable. Really? It's something from me is acceptable to you? Uh, maybe it's the only thing. At last I found something. What about when we celebrated Mass today? Well, that's another, that's another level of existence altogether. 
That's true. It's a much higher realm of the highest realm where Jesus comes. Sharing tea? What about that? Yeah, I guess as far as it goes, we don't share wealth, but tea, yes. I get to your mail before you do, so... Yes, I've seen, I know that. I, I'm afraid you censor it as well. I <laughs> no, just, you know, just take the cash out, that's all. <laughs> and I, I donate it to Our Lady of Mercy. Now that's all the questions from that person. Do you have any questions for me, Monsignor? Um... Uh... Oh, I know I do have one more. This was from, I won't tell you who it is quite yet, but someone told me to ask you why you think I'm so annoying. <laughs> well, I think there are at least 500 reasons. <laughs> Can we Where get the top three? <laughs> Anything come to mind? No, just Maybe I should... An accumulation of reasons. How do I bring you great joy? Maybe that's the follow-up question. Uh, the best question was, when did you ever bring me any kind of joy? Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm stumped too. I got nothing. All right, Monsignor, do you have any last words for the people today? No, make the best of the, uh, your incarceration as I am of mine wish them well in this lockdown that we're all experiencing. But uh, hope you're having a good time and maybe getting good rest in as well. Oh, I so. Are you getting good rest, Monsignor? I, I am that, yes. Are you also working a lot? Exercising a lot? Oh, no, hardly Eat? any. Eating a lot? Oh, yes, too much. <laughs> too much. Do you need anything, Monsignor? No, not really. No. Really? Because every time you see me, you always ask for more money. <laughs> what do you need the money and, for? And I'm never getting it. Because I know you're just going to waste it all away on, on prodigality. You're just going to go and spend it, probably gambling. That's my guess. Gambling? No, I've never gambled in That's my good. life. I have no interest in it. What would you waste your money on, do you think? I don't know. Chocolate? Travel, maybe. Travel? Really? Yeah. Where would you want to go? Um, someplace far. I'll go with you. <laughs> oh, you know, I was saying far from you. Oh, man. I'll follow you. I'll, find, I'll get you a GPS or something. Or a little <laughs> tracking device on you so I can follow you wherever you go. I'll always be a couple steps behind you and your cane, the purple pain. Yeah, you can nickname it that. Mm. Any particular continent that you would want to go to? Oh, I think I'd like to go back to Europe again. I enjoyed living there. Mm -hmm. Any country aside from Italy that you would want oh, to go Germany, to? Oh, Germany, no question. Oh, that's true. That's yeah. easy. Aside from Germany and Italy, because those are the two obvious answers. Although I like, I like just about all of Europe that I've been to, but most of them Western Europe. Anywhere in Eastern Europe you would like to go? Uh, no, I've never been to, uh, I don't think, I'd, I can't exactly recall. No, I have been to Russia. Oh, really? Yeah. How was it? How's your well, Russia? I went in the bad communist times, oh. so I, I really couldn't make any judgment on it. it was, my visit was so restricted. get out of uh, the Soviet back in the day? Well, trusting in God and in my American friend, uh, uh, my Amer American passport. Did you have to dig a hole under the fence and crawl out to safety? No, no, it was all above board. Or did you, or are you the one that were, is responsible for overthrowing the Soviet Union somehow? And you I, can't tell us I because we were... I would like to lay claim to that, but uh, in all honesty, I have to say no. Or he's a secret agent and he's not allowed to tell us. We could watch a, a secret agent movie too if you'd like. Yeah, well, there are any number of other options that I'd like to carry out. 
Well, I'm thinking a secret agent movie that is your auto or your biography. Someone put your your life as a movie. Who would play you? If someone were to play you as an actor, would you want anyone? Would you want me to be the actor no, no, representing you? Not. We kind of look alike. I'm just not as good looking. No. That's all. You're right. We both have two eyes, a nose, and a mouth, two ears. But we have more things There's in common. There's quite a similarity. That's true. All right. Thank you, Monsignor. Would you oh, like you. to bless the people? Oh, yes. In Latin. Benedictio Dei Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Descenda super vos. Et mania semper. Amen. Amen. If you have any questions for Monsignor Turo, feel free to email me and hopefully we'll be able to ask them on air here at Tuesday Tea with. No. Turo. Tuesday Tea with Turo. Tuesday Tea with Turo. Monsignor, it's wonderful being with you. I should like to share that sentiment. Unfortunately, I cannot in all honesty. Why do I keep doing this? Why, why, why do I take this abuse? <laughs> God bless you, Monsignor Turo. God bless all of you. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Yeah, so you mustn't generalize that I dislike Koreans. Some of my closest friends are Korean. I think what it is are extremes. And like my worst enemy is Korean, see? Who? Well, I'll leave it up to you to guess. <laughs> yeah, that would be people judging you know, what I say about you might think that I am prejudiced against Koreans, but that's not so. I think everyone now thinks, uh, how many episodes have we done? We've done several episodes now, and the entire time it's you just busting my chops. So I think everyone thinks you are a man of utter hatred. Well, they're not very wrong. I do not tolerate fools lightly. Do you tolerate fools heavily? Yeah. I shout and scream at them. I don't know if I've ever heard you shout and scream before. When was the last time you shouted or well, screamed? Usually in, um, in frustration, I'll go up to my room and I'll shout and scream. I can hear through the door. Yeah. I don't think I've ever heard you. Well, listen more carefully. You'll even hear your name. Oh, that's why you turn the TV on there, so that you make some noise, and then you start shouting, so no one can tell whether it's coming from the TV or if it's you. Well, that reminds me. Something's wrong with my TV. Again? I think so. And, uh, you know, we could... He's we pressing could... the wrong button! Yeah, I turn... You're right. I usually turn it on, and I see that I should have to turn it off when I want it on. It's all coming together. It's like mathematics. Two plus two equals four. Press the off button to turn the TV on. Life doesn't make sense sometimes, Monsignor. It's like how you and I are here in this same rectory. It doesn't make any sense. I know. But the paradox of the cross. How I am getting you to heaven by being <laughs> your cross. Will you deny such a fact, or do you think it's right? Are you are you willing to say right now here that I am getting you to heaven, Monsignor? Well, I hope so, because I, uh, I like in every life experience I have to move closer to it. That's true. So well, I'm hating evil, that's a virtue. And uh, you give me a chance to hate evil. <laughs> One day, one day Monsignor will love me. Or maybe one day Monsignor will learn to love his enemies. Oh, that's more like it. <laughs> All right, Monsignor, we're done here. <laughs>